Hello, this is Mark Maltner, and there's been confusion about a lot of my videos lately, and uh, I'd like to clear it up. Um, I'm not mad or anything. Um, a lot of people have asked for, and there's a few people today that called me out on it for my course. This is, I've graduated from the State University of New York at Oswego. Here is my diploma. Now, the thing is, um, I do have a degree in meteorology or atmospheric sciences, um, but right now I haven't been able to get a job in the field because the field is flooded by many meteorologists with meteorology degrees. Uh, there's a lot of meteorologists not retiring at the moment, so it is very difficult to get into the field. So I am a college graduate from the State University of New York at Oswego, and uh, it's it's been a long, hard time after graduation. I enjoyed college a lot more, I'd say, than after college, to say the least. I don't know if that's the way it should be. But the thing is, um, many of you have asked if I have, if I'm AMS certified. Of course I'm not, so I probably should have put a disclaimer saying, to contact your local media outlets and especially the National Weather Service offices like the National Weather Service offices around me are State College, Binghamton, Albany, Buffalo. These weather services issue the real warnings. When I post warnings behind me on the map it's it's problematic and I probably shouldn't post warnings from the National Weather Service back here because those aren't my warnings and those warnings will probably be old several hours later. The confusion is why I do these videos. Well, these videos started out as just a hometown thing. I did it for my hometown viewers, and it's I started out small in rural Brumantauga County. But then I covered a storm called Hurricane Sandy, or Hybrid Storm Sandy, and then all these people started subscribing to me on YouTube that were from the nation and around the world. And then all of a sudden I started doing national weather and I probably got a little bit sloppy with a lot of my work. And then I started, I'm not sure exactly what the guidelines are. Um, of course I've been calling myself a meteorologist Mark Molnar. I do have a degree in meteorology. I am a member of the American Meteorological Society. However, I have not been able to get into the field yet, and I am used, these videos are simply to try to help me get into the field. They're mainly for entertainment purposes only, and my thoughts, really, exception for the warnings. Those warnings I were displaying, by the time you view them, a lot of times are outdated warnings, because I only post one video per day, and the fact of the matter is, I'm actually kind of glad somebody brought this up. I, I, due to privacy reasons, I won't bring up who, but I like to keep things straight, and from now on, I'll post a disclaimer. I want everybody, any of my viewers, to look at their local uh, National Weather Service. Take a look at the warnings. If you want to see what I think, then you can come on here and look at what I've analyzed, what the models are looking like, um, what my snowfall totals or rainfall totals, or where I think the path of the storm is going to be. The reason I started calling myself meteorologist is because I'm trying to use these videos to get into my field. I'm sending off DVDs to uh, media news outlets and of course uh, National Weather Service I've applied to uh, but they require, their requirements are very great at the moment. They only accept the best of the best. And right now the National Weather Service is not hiring on a grand scale. However, I hope that will change eventually in the near future here. I have thought about starting my own meteorology consulting agency, but usually you have to be in the field. You have to be, had to have been employed by one of the agencies to actually get into your field. So, that's the fact of the matter. Usually the TV meteorologists that use these green screens, they'll be AMS certified, American Meteorological Society, or they'll be uh, the weather, I think it's the Weather Association certified. You can have one or the other or both of them. 
and I probably should have put my disclaimer. I want to be straight with you guys and thank you for who called me out there. I'll keep your name private, that way you don't get spammed or anything. So, um, here's the thing. We, um, I'll continue my videos. I'm not sure, I want to know if you have any thoughts or criticisms because I am using these videos to, I know I need to get a, a, a suit and a tie or, or a shirt and a tie for that matter. I want to know if you have any criticisms of me because I'm really trying to use these videos to get into any part of the weather industry and trying to pay off college loans and such that is a very difficult task doing it on food service jobs and other jobs landscaping jobs cleaning jobs stuff like that so if you have any suggestions let me know and all right, that's pretty much it. I do have, here at home, I do have my Davis Vantage Pro 2 weather station. I use that for my local measurements. And I'm wondering if maybe I should s switch to more of a local, a local to regional approach of the weather because I am kind of stretching myself out here on the national map. I mean, I can show it for general trends, but I'm thinking that maybe this is the best approach to do it. And... I don't want to mislead anybody. I don't want to do that. That's the last thing I want to do. So I will probably rename portions of my videos too. Um, I probably shouldn't leave my videos out there forever and ever and ever because someone clicks them and then they're like, okay, um, I just wasted four or five minutes of my life looking at a video that is two months old and the infra weather data that's two months old or out of date so i will clean i'm thinking about cleaning house on that as well so at this time um i'm going to go ahead i'm probably going to skip tonight's weather video because there's too much going on and the models are too crazy at the moment and for right now i'm going to leave that up to the professionals not saying I don't want to be a professional. I'm just saying that I hope I can turn this degree into a job. So I'll start weather analysis again tomorrow. I'll have a different, a different game plan. And um, hopefully I can become more professional over the coming months. That, that is my hope. And uh, hopefully I didn't mislead anybody. Um, if you're wondering why sometimes the snowfall totals are off, um, I studied a lot of tropical meteorology, and although I did do my uh, thesis paper, the Meteorology 497 course, that's the last course that we have to do in SUNY Oswego, State University of New York at Oswego, I did do that on the Blizzard of 93, but that, that did have a lot of tropical aspects to the storm as well. I did mainly the southern uh, end of the system, which dealt with Florida the Florida Keys down into Cuba, the squall line that moved through. So I apologize. I'm sorry uh, for if I misled anybody. So that's pretty much it. Um, as far as anything else is concerned, I'm really anxious to see what your thoughts are. And I will try to figure out whether I want to take a more local approach or stay with the national approach. Tell me your opinion. Don't just say, okay, I want you to keep a national approach because I want you to keep telling me the weather. Um, I want to do what is going to get me into the field. So please be honest and keep me straight on the situation with uh, the whole meteorology thing. So. I'll continue, I'll continue my micro updates on my Facebook page at MeteoMark, and I'll continue my micro updates on there. Other than that, uh, I'll leave, I'll leave on that note. Thank you very much, and State University of New York at Oswego, I have thought about going back and getting my master's degree, but I must say that is very expensive, and quite honestly, I don't know where I'd come up with the money for that, so... There you have it. I'm Mark Molnar.